Another thing you can do with the A element is you can create a mail to. In other words, you've probably seen this before, you can click on a link and it'll open up your uh, mail program so that users can send an email to you or to whatever email you put into the mail to. So what that looks like, and you know what, again, I'm just going to get rid of this image just because it is taking up so much space. So we'll just get rid of that entirely. Um, and I'll just add another link here as part of a list item to this unordered list. So we'll do li and then close it over here. We'll do another a tag here, a href. Um, and before I forget, I'll make sure that I close it in the correct order. And in here, instead of this kind of thing, instead of the HTTP protocol, blah, 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 you want to do mail to colon, and then you put in the email you want this, uh, this email to go to, right? So if I put, uh, let's see, your name at your site.com, for example, and then you can say, email me here. Uh, you can see that we have a link here and whoops, I put email me in the wrong spot. I should have put it right here between the opening and closing A tags. And in here we see, if I scroll down, we see that it says email me. And it's kind of hard to see, but down at the very bottom of my browser, you can see the little preview says mail to your name at your site.com. So if you were to click on this, which I can do right now, you can see that it launches my email program. I don't have it set up on this computer, but once it's all set up, et cetera, um, you've probably seen this before in the wild, right? So you click on this, it's gonna open up your, uh, your preferred email program, and you can start to fill out the email at that point. So those are the, the most common use cases here for the href attribute, right? So it has either a web address URL you want to go to, it could be an absolute URL or a relative URL. In this case, though, it is a mail to, right? So a little bit different in terms of what it looks like from an HTTP, but pretty easy to do, right? Pretty straightforward.